Clear prop. Welcome back. So while I've been waiting for the wind to cooperate, I decided to do a little bit more testing on doing some full power static runs and realized that I hadn't really uh, considered this, that I can actually use the cabin heater to dissipate some more heat on the initial climb out. So if I do have any sort of cooling problem, uh, that will help me out a little bit. So this is going to be a bit of a test here to uh, see how that works out. So this is the, the run I did today. And actually, uh, when I was doing this, I didn't actually activate the fan for the heater until after I'd done the full power run. But I'll let you watch this. And you can see here that the coolant temperature there pretty much follows the oil temperature. And it's not until after I you know, get further into this run that I realize, oh, I forgot to turn the heater fan on, so it's not actually cycling the coolant through the heater core at this point. Uh, but anyway, this is a good comparison to see how things operate when it's just running without the heater on. And then I'll show you in a second here the run that I did prior to this one, was yesterday, where I actually did have the heater come on. So, running it up here, I didn't have any problems or anything like that. Um, also, too, looking at the turbine inlet temperatures, it's dialed in nicely now that, that you know, it, on, it only gets up to 1650 there at the end of where I actually have to take the power off. Um, so you can see right about here, I realized that, oh, I'm not getting the heat coming through. And so I actually hit the fan there. And then all of a sudden, you know, a couple of seconds later, after I take the power off, the uh, coolant starts circulating through the heater core. And then you see this massive drop. Um, in the coolant temperature that you see coming here on that light blue line there. So of course, you know, at that point it's too late, but getting about, um, I think it was like 75 seconds there of full power, which is enough to get me up to pattern altitude or pretty close uh, based upon the uh, test that I did a while back. So anyway, that's, that's the run there without the heater engaged. And let's go in and uh, look at how it looks like from the previous day uh, with it engaged. Okay, so this is the run from the day before and I don't have any video to go along with this, but I do have the log and I can play it here so in, uh, in real time. So here I'm bringing the power in, same as I did in this previous run that you just saw, and you know just bringing it up about the same as what I would do on the runway, maybe a little bit slower. Uh, but as you can see there, the coolant temperature starts dropping down because I've got the heater on and it immediately starts cycling through the uh, cold coolant that was in the heater loop. And so the temperature there comes down into the 80s before it starts to rise again. So now the oil temperature is creeping up and the coolant temperature is sort of lagging behind it, but helping the oil uh, temperature stay a bit cooler. And you can see down below that one there in the um, the orange color there is the turbine inlet temperature that's in the sort of high 1400s right now and that actually gets up to 1650 where I'm completely comfortable with that. And if you look at the time this is taking, um, I end up getting a good uh, 90 seconds or so at full power or at least from when I start bringing the power in to when I have to um, you know, take it back a little bit. And then, uh, you know, th again, this is with you know, no air being pulled in to the engine other than what the prop is pulling through uh, the cowling. So, you know, everything's looking good there. And you can see the definitely having the heater on is keeping the coolant temperature quite a bit lower than the oil temperature. So that would be pulling the oil temperature down, um, you know, because the coolant um, runs through the heater or so the oil cooler in the top of the engine. And this is the point here where I pulled the power back, um, mainly there because uh, the EGTs were getting high and um, also too the coolant was at 230 or sorry the oil temperature was at 230 and then you can see once once I pull the power back some more there I'm getting less air being pulled in by the by the prop and so now the coolant temperature starts to rise more uh, rapidly there and uh, you know eventually everything sort of still gets up to about 250 degrees there on the coolant and on the oil temperature which is still fine you know ultimately I'd like to keep it cooler than that 
Um, but as you can see there, I got through basically two minutes of time, so uh, 90 seconds at full power, and then about the next 30 seconds sort of averaging between 65% and 50% power before I had to sort of bring it back to idle. So anyway, it was a good test, and I think that's going to buy me some more time, but uh, while I wait for the wind now to subside and give me pretty much, hopefully, just a couple of knots straight down the runway, um, or a completely calm condition before I can get it into ground effect uh, one more time. And then uh, I'll be starting to plan what will be the first flight. So anyway, that's just a quick update. Stay tuned for the next one, and uh, hopefully I'll be getting it off the ground again on the next one. Thanks again for watching.